right, everybody. Good evening. Welcome to a focus on business. I'm going to just jump right into this because it's, it's a how would you like to save a thousand dollars a year on your electric bill? OK, wait, wait. I heard everybody hit the record button on this. So I'm just telling you right now, this this right here and these two gentlemen right here are going to help you do that. And that's just a little bit. That's not the whole deal. That's just what you could do on what the, the, the product that they have. So this is uh, Ross Barrel and Tom Decker. And you guys are insulation specialist. Yeah. And there's just more than just insulation, right? right? But there's but you guys are specialists on this. Yeah. So let's 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 talk about let's talk about this insulation that you guys have got. And actually there's an attic fan. There's a solar attic fan, which means there's no power. More right. power draw, and then you guys are protecting the the actual entry to the attic as well. Let's right. start. Let's let's start about the services. What, what's going on here? Yeah. So what we do is we're we're not just an insulation company. What we do is we take homes and we make them efficient, as efficient as possible through the attic. 60, 70 percent of your energy loss is actually through the attic uh, because it gets so hot. So right. there's some things you can do. So basically a perfect attic would look like um, you would have a, a radiant barrier on the underside of the roof decking that kicks the heat away from the structure. Then we would have a great ventilation through soffits, bringing air into the soffits and pulling the heat out the top. Okay. We do that with active airflow. That's where we use the solar attic fan. We actually right. control the volume of air that's moved through the attic so we can take charge of your attic. Um, Kind of like I was telling Ross on the way over here. I said, it's like having a sailboat versus a power boat. Sailboat, you're sitting out in the water. You could just be a sitting duck. Nothing's happening. You know, you're not moving. With, with, the, with the power boat, you can actually move. The same thing with the solar fan. It's, it's, it's taking the sun's energy. It's driving the motor. It's pushing the fan and pulling air into the soft. Okay, so you're telling me if I had a whirly thing on the roof of my house. Yeah, the turbines. And I know I've got the two end vents at the house. Mm -hmm that's not doing really anything. Right. So we actually have a couple of solutions for that. If you have gable ends on each end, we actually have gable fans. So it's still solar, runs off the sun's energy, doesn't cost anything to run it. We would use a push pull method. We would pull air in one side and pull it out the other and just draw it right through the attic. Okay. The other option would be, and every house is different. That's why we offer free attic inspections. And that's really what we're here to do is to promote that. So we can come out, look at the house. The other option would be, if you don't have soft vents, is to put like a solar fan in the middle of those two vents. We'll pull the air in from the vents and then pull it out the top to the uppermost part. Because heat rises and you always want to pull the hottest air out of the attic first. And that will lower all of the attic temperature. It takes some stress off of the air handler that's in your attic as well. Exactly. It just makes the house more comfortable. Air conditioner lasts longer. Roof can last longer. So there's a lot of benefits to what we do. It's not just energy savings. Right. Uh, it's it's all of the above. It really makes the house a lot more comfortable. A lot of people say, I just want the house to be more efficient. I'm like, if you just want to save a lot of money on your energy bills, just go out to your breaker, turn the breaker off, problem solved. You save <laughs> you have zero electric bill. There you go. No comfort though. Woo! So so what we try to do is get both. Let's get you some comfort and then get the energy savings as well. Okay. So the difference between uh, let's let's talk about. Um, so, so I have a house, and I have a I have a um, I have uh, vaulted ceilings. Right. So I have two ends of the house that got attics. The middle does not. So I'm going to have okay. to have a system down below, system up. Yes. Yes. Okay. So your mechanicals, your your ductwork and stuff is going to be in those open attics. So we want to lower that attic temperature, and then we would insulate it. So the unconditioned space. So say it's a. If your house is 75 degrees inside and your attic was 75 degrees, you would actually need no insulation to, to maintain that. Right. But the problem is the attic may be 110, 120, 150 degrees. So that's where you need the insulation to separate that hot or cold environment. Maybe it's a 30 degree night. You need insulation. So insulation pays for itself year round. The solar ventilation is going to lower the attic temperature, but it also has a humidity sensor. So if you have a high humidity situation in the winter, cold front or something comes through, you can create a lot of condensation in the attic. Well, the, that's when the fan would still kick on and okay. lower the humidity level as, as well. Right. Okay. So, okay. so the, the solar fan, by doing this the right way, keeps moving. So, but if I don't have any wind, if I don't have any air movement, that my attic is now not being ventilated properly. Right. That's the beauty of the solar because it's going to actually kick the motor on. It's going to turn the blades and it's going to draw that air out. That so, is... you know, you're not leaving it the chance. Right. Okay. Yeah. Wow. And a turbine, like you're saying that you have, if you have two of those, so they're 275 cubic feet of air per minute maximum. Ours are 1,550, so equivalent to about five of those turbines through one opening. That is absolutely. Okay, so so I call you guys. Yes. Let's let's talk about this. So I call you guys and say, hey, look, you know what? I, I My electric bill is 600 bucks a month. Mm -hmm. 
and my air conditioning is just never shutting off. Right. Ever shutting off. What's the first step? Uh, well, to make an appointment, we'll come out and look at the attic and see what's going on. In that case, you know, we see a lot of houses here that the insulation is just so poor. It's only three or four inches. It's supposed to be a minimum of an R30, which would be about 11 inches of insulation. We like to bring them to R38, which is 14 right. inches. That's what the energy department actually recommends. So bring it up to that, and then let's look at the attic temperature and see what can be done there as well. And uh, I've got customers, we'll, we go to home shows when we promote and things like that, and they'll come up, and I've had them come up give me a hug because they're saving 50% on their energy bills. They're just amazed. Right. I'm like, well, who's this person? You know, and they're all so excited. It, it's amazing. You know, when we do shows all, all, over and over and over again, and there's a lot of companies that they just don't make it in the business because they don't really know what they're doing. Anybody can come out there and just blow insulation in your right. attic. And what we try to do is just, you know, we're do it superior. We look at the whole overall efficiency of the attic. We're attic efficiency experts. Right. Yeah, I'm, 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 I went through the material and, you know, 3,000 square foot home, just, just by putting the correct amount of, insulation in there yes. you're looking at a 968 dollars savings over yeah. in one year every year oh my god so if if you spent say you spent twenty five hundred dollars to do, to do that <laughs> exactly exactly you gotta look, i'm looking at it from a guy's standpoint that's a new gun well you hey, know, hey, you know awesome. i get that and a lot of people will say well we're thinking about either remodeling the kitchen or doing the attic and i'm like if you do the attic now you could remodel the kitchen every 10 years off of the savings that you got on your electric right. bill. If you remodel the kitchen now, you're just going to have to remodel it in 10 years because it's going to be out of date again. Exactly. What we do never goes out of style. That, Everybody you know, wants efficient home. It's, it, okay, so once it, once you so you can you, now you come to the house, you take a look at it, everything inside, exactly. you know, yes. and evacuate, or do you just pile on top of? We do or, both. So, okay. yeah, we'll have to look at it and see which way to go. 95% of the time, you can just add to what you have. There's really nothing wrong with it. It's just the depth is so poor. There's not much R value. Sunk down. Yes. So right. the, the thicker it is, the more R value you have, and that's what they call resistance to heat flow. So okay. the thicker it is, the longer it takes heat or cold to transfer through Yeah, it. my guy's got a picture of what an attic should look that's like. That's what it should look like. Exactly. Yeah, mine does not look like that, and mine just got done. Yes, yes. Yeah, you were telling me you have cellulose, and I yeah, was over here kind of knocking it. it. And at first, I'm like, oh, that looks really good. And I went up there the other day because we were, you know, putting some stuff up in there. And I was like, oh, I can see, I can see Joyce and Raptors again. I don't know. That's not really. Yeah, it really settles. Cellulose insulation really settles and deteriorates. It's made with ground up newspapers. Um, it's a green product, which means that it's made with a recycled product, which is newspapers. Ours is also a green product because it's made with recycled glass. But the difference is ours is Green Guard certified, which means it's safe for schools, daycares, hospitals, super, okay. super clean. You can put it anywhere. I can put it in a nursing home. People have allergies, asthma, have no, no side effects. So it's super, super clean. That's and it really amazing. can clean up the environment in the house. And a lot of people will do it just because it's so clean and they, they don't want to breathe all that dusty stuff, which right. I can't blame them. That's everything. No. If you don't have your health, you don't have much. So that, if that gets stirred up and gets into your system, that gets into your house. Yes, yes, the cellulose. So what, as the air is running through your ducts, it's like a straw. If you take a straw and you're blowing it one in and you have a little hole somewhere in the middle of that straw, mm -hmm. it will actually suck outside air in. And that's where you get all this dust and things from your attic into the house. So if your house is dusty, you need to go check your... It, 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 a lot of times it's, it's coming from upstairs in that attic. Okay. Yes, yes. We get that all the time. We, people will say, look at this. And they'll be like, we just dusted this morning. They'll be showing me on their tables and stuff. You can write your name on it. They're like, we just dusted it. It's like the, every day. I'm like, and you're breathing right. that stuff. It's terrible. That's amazing. Oh, goodness gracious. Um, so, so when you come out... How long does it take to typically do it? Usually about 30 minutes to kind of get up in the attic, take a look at everything. We'll go around, look at the soft vents. We're, so we're inside and outside of the house, kind of giving you a little evaluation of, of everything that's going on. Right. And, uh, you know, we don't go out. We're not trying to sell people stuff. We're trying to help. And I always say, always be helping. That's our policy. We're not always be selling. That's a lot of most of them. They're always right. be selling. Make sure yeah. you sell the deal. No, we're always be helping because if we do that, the sales will come and we have happy customers and that's how we build our business. That's when the people come up and hug you. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yep. They don't come and punch me in the face. Guys, <laughs> I've seen some of the women at the trade shows. Or them. I want to hug it. That's where I'm right. at Ross. Trade, yes. at, at the home show. The home shows. It's yeah. great to come out and Everybody loves Ross. So, yeah. Yes. I, I can see why. I see why. The, okay. So, now you've got a, you've got a, we got about two minutes left in the segment, so you've got a, a, a special. And we're going to yes. talk about this one. We're going to drive this point home because it's a good thing to have. So let's, let's talk about your uh, special you got going on. Yeah, let's do that. Let me let Ross do it since I've been doing all the talking. But uh, Yeah, Ross is quiet. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> He's usually not that quiet. <laughs> there you go. Now you got me talking. Um, currently, what we're doing right now is uh, before the summertime, we're running a 50% off special. Our normal rate, we're charging $1.80 per square foot. 
And like Tom explained, we're not using cellulose. We have nothing with chemicals in it. We have nothing that's harmful. We use what they call a blowing wool, Green Guard certified. It's actually certified by the government. Um, and it's the cleanest product you can put in your attic. You do it one time, it will settle about 2% over 20 years versus some other products like we, they were talking about with the cellulose. You're looking at a product that in 20 years, it's gonna settle about 50%. So our product, we put it in one time. We're not gonna come back and do it two or three times. It's one time charge. We blow it in, we do a professional job. We get it done for you right the first time. The biggest thing that we do is we try to control the temperature in your attic. Most people don't understand that the hotter your attic is, the hotter your air is gonna blow from the air handle when you get down farther in the house. Our main goal in your attic is to try to get that hot air out. And the best unit that you can use is a solar attic fan. And right now we're, at, we're, at, we're running a special on the solar attic fans too. We normally charge 1,095 installed, lifetime warranty on the installation and the solar attic fan. We normally do them for 1,095. Right now we're running a special for everybody, 895 installed. That solar attic fan, in my opinion, is worth its weight in gold. You can't get something that will take more air out. We're looking at 1,550 cubic feet per minute. And I'll tell you, it will cool your attic. It will really cool it down. Do you want an attic that's 120 to 150 degrees during the summer? Or do you want an attic that's staying under 100 degrees? Common sense will tell you your shingles on your roof are going to end up getting too hot. And sooner or later, they're going to be replaced. Common sense will tell almost anybody when it comes to keeping that attic cool, the air comes in the air handle at 40 degrees. Once it travels 30 feet, if it's traveling 30 feet through your attic in an attic that's 150, obviously at some point that air is going to get warmer. So you're going to get air that's coming in your house that's not the same temperature as what blows in from the air handler. So basically it's conditioning your attic, it's getting the heat out, and you're putting a nice insulation in there to take the barrier from the cold to the heat. So you're not making a mistake and, and paying all these extra bills. Any service we offer, it's actually a payback to you over a two to three year period of time. You pay the money today, by the time you're done, your savings is incredible. And that being said, when we come back, we're gonna we're gonna actually delve into we're gonna delve in. We're gonna delve into the insulation and what makes your insulation better and different from everything on the market. Sounds good. So we'll be right back after these messages. This is the Cannabis Podcast, powered by TrueLeave on Radio Influence. It's an inside look and the scientific facts in and around the world of medical cannabis. Now, here is your host, Ian Beckles. He's a successful entrepreneur, published author, top listing agent, a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes.
Okay, we're back. Yep, we're going to talk insulation. But first things first, I hear the word a radiant barrier. What is a radiant barrier? So radiant barrier was actually designed from NASA. Actually, they designed it. It was actually designed for the space shuttle. Because when they designed it, they were like, you know, the walls of this things are going to have to be seven feet thick on each side for the insulation when we come back into the atmosphere because right. it's so hot. Because of the heat. So they said, let's, let's, so they came up with a radiant barrier. So they went with a ceramic tile on the outside and then they did a radiant barrier beyond that. Then they have one inch of dead airspace and then the insulation. Well, now the wall has to be about a thick, a foot thick with all this sandwiched effect. So same thing with in your house. That's when it went into the construction industry and, uh, about 1998 is when it really started to come on, and about 2000, 2002, it started to kind of get more mainstream. Right. But what it does is it kicks the heat away from the object. So when the sun's energy hits something, that's radiant energy, radiant heat. So your, your roof is the first thing between the sun and the earth. There's nothing in between. Right. So that's, that roof is absorbing all this radiant energy, and that's what's heating up this attic space. And that's why an attic space can get 160, 170 degrees if it's not ventilated properly because the heat's just pouring in. So what a radiant does is it kicks the heat away. It, it can do about 85, 90% of that heat kicked away. Now, with that being said, you still need ventilation. Right. So some people think, well, I'm just going to put this radiant in there and that's going to be good. It will, it will slow the heat gain down, but you still need good ventilation. So right. when we come and look at a house, not every house we're saying needs a radiant barrier. Maybe it's covered with trees. If it's covered with trees, you don't need a radiant barrier. Uh, if you have, there's different situations. So, so we is might, that a spray on or is it a roll on or is it it's a, a yeah you can uh, we we spray it on you can be rolled on but it's, we actually spray it on and uh, it's a two part it's kind of like an epoxy where it's a two part mix you have your carrier which is kind of like a clear mm -hmm. and then you have the radiant which is like the aluminum powder that's mixed in with this oh, okay and then it's sprayed on it creates a coating the nice thing about what we use heat block ultra is it actually absorbs into that roof decking so this is actually if you look up under it's underside of your roof when you go up in your attic. If the roof is not like silver looking, then you don't have a radiant barrier. A lot of people, how do I know if I have one or not? It's either going to be silver or not. Really. It's either going to look I like wood. Rob will show a picture of that. Before, yes. You know, one with and one without. So. Exactly. So you know when you have it. And then, of course, you'll know if you walked into two houses and you didn't even look up. One had radiant barrier, like new construction, and one didn't. One would be 20 degrees cooler inside. You're like, well, this one has radiant barrier. It's pretty obvious. I okay. mean, it, it, it makes a big difference. Okay. So that's what it does. And then we come to the insulation. Yes. Now, so, I have a question because I've, I've known other people. They, uh, some people will blow the cellulose stuff in right. and it's treated. Right. Right. So what's the difference between the stuff that that's what I have now and the true difference between what you guys Right. Have? Right. The, the big difference is what they're starting with. Uh, so cellulose is starting with uh, newspapers. Newspaper. Um, and then what we're starting with is basically uh, recycled glass. So ours... Glass glass. Glass like glass. Like, glass. like recycled glass bottles. Really? Yes. So you don't need to treat it with anything because it's, it's, it's already fireproof. Bugs are not going to eat it. Uh, it's not going to hold moisture. Mold's not going to grow on it. So you don't have to put all these chemicals in it. Where when you take a cellulose product, newspapers, you know, we used to get a newspaper. I don't know if people get them anymore, but you'd, 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 on a more moist morning, you'd be carrying that bag up there. It had a couple pinholes and it weighed yeah. 20 pounds. Yep, you could exactly. barely get it up to the door. Yeah. So that's the same thing in an attic. So I can even walk into houses. And I don't even have to go up in the attic and I'm like, oh, you have cellulose. And they're like, well, how do you know? I'm like, well, I can see your sheetrock sagging oh. because of the weight. If they've had any kind of moisture. So if they didn't have it ventilated properly right. and they were had a lot of moisture in the attic, now the insulation is holding all this moisture and it will actually sag the sheetrock, especially if it's 24 on center because it's a big span and that's yes. a lot of weight. And you kind of like a cupping effect. Yep. And that's that can be caused with that because it's holding too much moisture. It's not always this the insulation's fault. It's the insulation combined with a humid environment. Now you've got this weighted problem. Too much humidity in the attic is exactly. absorbing that moisture to make it even like, heavier like, like, product. A, like a sponge. It wow. just Wow. absorbs it right up okay. so that's that's one of the big differences and like i said ours is green guard certified so that means it's, it's a super clean that's really the biggest thing the cellulose will have boric acid in it it's got fire retardants because it is just newspapers if you didn't treat it i mean the house if you had any kind of flame it would just burn down right so they have to treat it with all these chemicals so i'm just not big on chemicals in an attic because it does go airborne and you are breathing it right and uh you know i'm not super health conscious for myself, but I mean, I try to eat right, live right, you know, I don't smoke, and, and if you're not doing all these things, well, why would you have this in your attic? I've got people that are health nuts, and then they have cellulose insulation, and they don't really realize what, that, what kind of environment they're putting themselves in. Right. So the cellulose, I just don't, I just don't recommend it at all. We, we do a lot, we'll take it out, or if you do have cellulose, we can actually encapsulate what you have. We'll put our insulation over the top of it and keep it from going airborne. 
So the problem can be solved, and it's not super expensive to do that. It's not like it's a catastrophe. Everything we're talking about here can be fixed relatively simply. It's but not super expensive. But you can evacuate expensive. the stuff that's up there, right? Yeah. So it just you, gets kind of sucked out. You can suck it completely out, start all over. Of course, that's an additional fee. Oh, of course. But... Uh, so we do that, or we can add to the top of that. Most of the time, we're just adding to it, unless they really have a big issue, and then we'll remove it completely. Right. Yeah. So this is made of glass. I yes. just, I still kind of blows my mind. It's made of glass. Yeah. So a lot of people think of the, the glass. We call it a blowing wool. Um, but it used to be like fiberglass would itch. That was the biggest complaint. That's the first thing I'm like going, this oh, I've been in attics with, uh, with that, the pink stuff. The pink oh, or, or the that. yellow. Yeah, you just oh. walk by it and you're like, oh, jeez, yeah, exactly. I'm on fire. Yes, I'm, already, I'm already itching. You're I'm, already I'm, itching. I'm itchy sitting right just here. Looking at, I, I get itchy just looking at this picture down here with this old uh, yeah. fiberglass That's, and yeah, our removal exactly. picture. It's like, ugh. Yes. Well, ours doesn't do that. You can make a stuff a pillow with it. You can crawl through it. I have it in my house, and last year I had to crawl through to put some wiring in. I came out of the attic. It was like 2 in the afternoon. I had it on. just dusted off, and I just worked all day. My wife, she's like, you're not going to take a shower. You're going to be itching. I'm like, no, that's a, that's the new insulation because the old part of attic actually has fiberglass, and I wouldn't dare go over there without taking a shower immediately. Yeah, so, or, or, or dressing in a toxic suit, you know, those <laughs> white suits going over. Yes, um, I mean, yes. a long time ago, I mean, way back in the day, I, I did a lot of installation for uh, Time Warner. Okay. And, yes. And before it was all the other stuff, it was Time Warner, and when when I had to go into an attic and do an attic crawl, oh, that was my worst day. And I I, I literally went to the boat store and bought the Tyvek white suits. Yes. And took my clothes off, other than my underwear, and put the Tyvek suit on and and and, and, and tape it. Yeah, you tape it. it. Yes. So I, I all I had to worry about was my face and my hands. Exactly. And do, to do an attic crawl to to run cable in people's houses. Oh yeah. Because I'd get up, I'm like, oh my god, I, this is gonna be this huh. the worst day ever. Oh yeah, ever, and, ever, and it's ever, not ever, just ever. that day. It's like the two weeks later, yeah. you're still it's, itching. I'm, I'm still getting, and it's like still pulling it out. And, yeah, exactly. So our our insulation doesn't do that. You could crawl through it. There's really no side effect. Everything that we're trying to do, we're only trying to create positive side effects, right. more comfort, more energy savings, better resale value. We're not trying to create negative side effects. And that's one thing. You do certain things. You you see that on TV. You'll see a, a medication. It says, oh, take this for dry eyes. Right. But look out, you're gonna have diarrhea, and they yeah. start going down. <laughs> Not all the all yeah, of the things are going to bleed. You yeah, know, something like your that. Eyes, yeah, right, right. Exactly. Yeah. You're like, oh, geez. So yeah, no negative side effects. Only positive. Side yeah. Effects. Ross was telling me he goes when he goes when I, you know when you're filming this stuff up there, you're going to see. Man, it's just like hitting snow on you. I'm like, I, was, I, I thought about them going, yeah. It's just going to be like snow. Oh, I, I take it right in front of people, and they they tell me, oh, I don't want to get stuck with it. And I take it, and I take it, and put it on my face, and I rub it, and I say to them, it does absolutely nothing. I said, if you can take cotton on your face, little cotton balls. This is no different. Exactly. That's cool. Yeah. That is really and nice. So that means it's not it's not breaking off. It's not deteriorating. It's not getting into my house. I'm not right. breathing it. Because you told me a story about a lady. That, yes. So let's, let's, tell me about that story. Yes. So she uh, moved into a house, and she'd been there for years, and she said she just never felt right. After she moved into this house, couldn't figure out what's wrong. Going to the doctors, hospitals, couldn't figure out what's wrong with her. Well, anyway, she says, you know what? Maybe it's this insulation. So we went in and we removed all that insulation. And we put all brand new, our insulation in there. And we seen her at a home show and not too long ago. And she came by and she was like, I have never felt better. It just, it just changed her whole life. Wow. You know, it's, it was amazing. We've had people where they've had like mold in their attic and they didn't realize that there was mold on the insulation. They had maybe a water leak in the past. Something happened. They had mold growing. And all these mold spores, and they're breathing them, and they just, they go to the, they'd be sick, they'd go to the hospital. Two or three days later, they're like, we can't find anything wrong with you, but they're feeling better in the hospital. Well, right. then they would go back home. I had a lady, this happened to her. Well, what happened was, after about three or four times, they actually sent somebody out to her house. Well, they discovered there was actually mold in the house. Wow. So they removed, we removed all that, put all new insulation in, same thing. She felt 10 times better. It just makes a big difference. You that can't be is... breathing all this just contaminants. The See? inside of your house can be five to ten times more contaminated than the outside air. Right. So that's what we try to do is keep this thing as clean as possible. So you got a special, Ross. Let's go over that special again. All right. Right now what we're doing is we're doing our insulation at 50% off. Our, our normal price on the insulation is $1.80 a square foot. And just like, just like Tom just explained to you, we're using blowing wool. No chemicals in the insulation. Very, very high quality product. Uh, Green Guard certified by the government. Um, and we're doing that right now at half off. So we're doing insulation at 90 cents per square foot instead of $1.80 per square foot. The other offer that we're running right now is we're doing our solar attic fans. Normal price, $1,095 installed, lifetime warranty. 
one of the few companies and one of the few fans you're ever going to get with a lifetime warranty on it. That's on the installation of, installation of the fan and the mechanics of the fan. We're using a great fan that also right now also has a government rebate on it. Government's giving a 30% true tax credit. So a fan that's lowered from 1095 to 895 it's actually out of pocket, truly costing you six twenty six fifty after you're using the 30% tax credit. And to me, Tom might touch on different things than I do. My biggest thing is the temperature of your attic. You get that attic temperature down, you're golden. Um, I mean, you're spending a lot less money on energy. You're, you're not tearing up your air conditioner because it's running so hot all the time, 24-7. And you also have a roof that's going to last a lot longer because it's cooler in the attic. You're not going to replace in your shingles and your whole roof as soon as you would without. But to me, if you went with the number one thing that's most important in, a, in an attic, it's that heat. Getting that heat out of your attic is extremely important. And that's why we're doing this fan special. I truly believe everybody in this state should have a solar attic fan because the pitches on the roof don't allow for active airflow. Uh, your soffits will bring in nice air, but with having a shallow pitch on your roof, you're looking at a heat trap, a, a blanket of heat inside your attic, and you have passive airflow versus a solar attic fan. You have active airflow that's removing 1,550 cubic feet per minute. Very smart idea for the homeowner. That right there alone is, I didn't, I didn't realize pitch. I didn't realize yes. that the it, less pitch, the less airflow. Tom, give them your, give them your TP story. <clears throat> we got because... 20 seconds. Okay, let's do it when we come back. Because right, it, it's a good story. It that's really it. is great. So when we come back, we're, we're going to get into an attic fan, right? And then we're going to get into the stairway insulator, which I, I didn't know, I knew nothing about this. Yeah, the stairway insulators are great. And actually on our insulation package we're actually giving one of those away if you when you do insulation so oh. if we insulate your house we'll give you a free stairway insulator all right, when too. we come back we're going to talk all about fans and the stairway protection we'll be right back this is the cannabis podcast powered by true leave on radio influence it's an inside look and the scientific facts in and around the world of medical cannabis now, here is your host, Ian Beckles. He's a successful entrepreneur, published author, top listing agent, a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes.
Okay, but everybody, we're back, and we're going to talk about a solar fan. Okay, so I we all understand solar, right? So now this is what makes the unit run. So you're not plugging, you're not pulling any electricity off your home, right? No, right? no electricity at all. At all. No, 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 there's no battery in it. Nope, nope, no so battery. I guess it would need a battery because if it was. At night, you're not got heat. Yeah, it's not like a solar like lights. You would right, yeah. run it during the day. It would charge during the day, and then the light would go at night. This is actually running during the day. You don't need it running at night, okay. so you don't need a battery. So you got to cut a hole in my attic or my roof. Either cut a, a hole or, or replace an existing turbine or oh, power like fan or something fan. like that. Okay. Yeah, depends on the roof. Let's, let's talk about this because this this is this is this is really kind of um, why why solar over electric. Okay, so solar why over electric? So they both do the same thing. If you had a, a power fan, you would basically be the same as this, except it's going to cost energy to run it. So this is actually a way cheaper idea than mm -hmm. the, the power fans, even though you can get a power fan cheaper like initially, but it can run about $15 a month to run that power it's costing fan. costing me electric. So if you ran it, just say six months out of the year, $15 and $90 a year. 10 years, you spent $900. That's more than what we're charging for the fan and everything well, installed. You get a, just by putting the right insulation in your house, you can save almost a grand. It, exactly. So it doesn't cost anything to run it. So you save all that. The motor is guaranteed. To, it's a lifetime warranty. So, But it's about a 35-year run life on the motors. Right. So if you have an electric fan, you're going to replace that motor about every three to five years. Right. So exactly. you have to keep replacing that. And that's if you don't burn the house down in the meantime. Because what happens is that it's, it happens. It's about 15,000 houses a year get burned down from power. Fans really? Nationwide. It's huge. So what happens, the reason okay. they burn down is you have a thermostat separate from the motor. Right. So the thermostat's saying, whoa, the attic's 120 degrees. Fan, come on. Well, it shoots the, the electricity over to the motor, and the motor's like, well, I'm burned out. I'm all shorted out. I can't. If you start putting power over here, we can have a fire. And that's, yeah. but it doesn't know. So it just keeps sending that energy over there. So we go into smart a lot of houses smart, when we do smart. an attic. Yeah. We do an attic inspection. We're like, first thing we need to do is where's the power? We got to get the power shut off to this old fan that's not running because it's right. a fire hazard. We don't want the house to burn down before we can even go get it, put our fan in. Right, right. So that's kind of where we're at with the power fans. So um, wait, wait, I'm going to back up here. You said, okay, so if my, if I've got one electric yes. and I'm charging and it's costing me 15 bucks a month. Yeah. Over a lifetime and a year. This is cheaper to have one of these installed because you have the 895 special. Yes, we have that. Yeah, exactly. So my return on my investments in one year. Yeah, a lot of people say that. Oh, the fan pays for itself in one year. One year. It doesn't take long, especially with the tax credit. That's so absolutely phenomenal. But that's the main thing is really the the comfort that you're going to see in the house. It's going the house will actually feel drier inside. So I'll get to my TP story in a second. Right. Let me explain this. So as the air comes across your coil on your air conditioner, it's pulling the moisture out of that air. So because that coil is only about 35 to 40 degrees, so mm -hmm. it extracts the moisture off of that air. Well, now the air is going through all the ductwork through the hot attic. Well, now you have all this heat on the other side of this cold air. Now it's recondensating again. Yeah. So when it comes out the vents, the humidity levels back up. Right. So when you lower the attic temperature, when the air comes out the vents on the other end, it's actually drier. So it feels more comfortable in the house. So a lot of customers will say, I used to put the house on 70 and it, it felt cool, but it was kind of clammy. Now I put it on 72 because the air is drier and it actually feels better in the house. We were able to raise up the temperature a couple of degrees. Then you get even more energy savings by doing that. And then you get the energy savings by lowering the attic temperature, taking that load off of the insulation. So the, the bigger the de temperature differential is in the attic, the more insulation you're going to need. But you can only put so much in. Because a lot of people say, I had a customer who says, I want to just put three feet of insulation in there. <laughs> three feet. Don't even worry about the ventilation. I'm like, no, sir, we can't do that. Because what's going to happen during the day, all that insulation is going to fill with heat. Right. And then the sun goes down. Now the heat is going to be radiated back, dissipated back into the house. Right. So they're like, I'm like... At midnight, two o'clock in the morning, your air conditioner is still going to be running because you, you push all this heat's coming out running. of the insulation. So you want to control the temperature during the day. That's super critical. Keep that temperature down. Here, what we find is that the roof pitches are so low. Right. You know, we'll ask people like almost a, flat, almost flat, like a right. four twelve pitch, which means it's go, every every twelve inches you're going in, you're only going up four inches. So the pitches are just not very steep. The steeper the roof is, a better like a passive airflow would work. So if you have a, a real steep roof and you've got a, a vent at the top, the heat will actually migrate up to the top and it can actually work pretty well. With the lower pitch roof, the air just sits in there. So this is my teepee story, is if you have a teepee, 
they start a fire in there and the teepee is 25 feet tall, all the air and the smoke are moving out and going out the top of the teepee. Right. Well, if the teepee was only four or five feet, like some of these attics, where is the smoke going to go? Everywhere. Out. Right. Just out like the this. windows. So that's where the Indians are going to go. Out. They're going to be running out of the teepee. So kind of visualize that. I mean, okay. the heat, you, they started a fire in there, and they're like, oh, my gosh. The smoke would be just flushing them out of there. So that's why you need it like a draw. you got to draw it like a, a chimney or a teepee. That's, that's okay. why you need active airflow. So we put the active airflow on these low-pitched roofs, and we actually create that draw. So we keep pulling everything to the top and lowering the attic temperature. Oh, okay, so it, I get it now. Yeah, so that way all that stuff's getting sucked out and pushed out. Exactly, and if you got if you and if you have the little whirly birds up there, I call them. That's what I call them. And they yeah. make noise and they're horrible sounding things. You can hear them screeching. Yeah, all night stuff. long you hear. I hope, oh, oh, Tom, we got we got wind going because Tom's Tom's thing's going. This right here will just pull that right out. Yeah, it's super quiet. These are only thirty decibels. And the other problem with the turbine is they pull heat out of your house in the winter time. So in the winter, they don't know to shut off. They just are going to be up there still spinning, pulling all the heat out of your attic. Okay. This has a temperature sensor. This is actually smart technology. Okay. So people love that because it, it controls the temperature. So what it does is it reads humidity and temperature. And it has a little processor in it, it's inside of it. And it says, is it going to benefit this house for the fan to come on? If it's not hot in the attic, well, no. So it stays off. So if it's a 40-degree winter day, it says, no, don't come on. If it's a if it's a 45 or 50 degree winter day, but we have a, hu a high humidity level for some reason, you know, we had a cold front or something come through, right. then it would benefit the house. We want to keep the humidity down. Then it would come on for 15 or 20 minutes and run. So we're actually taking control of that attic temperature, and and that's why the fans are so cool. I have gotten I have gotten uh, emails from my thermostat saying you have a high humidity day. High humidity. Yeah, yes. Something's going on. Someone's left the window open or a door's open or something. There's something going on because right. I've got a lot of, and that could be my insulation not being right. Yeah. And the, the ventilation, it's just, you've got to keep that humidity level down. Yep. Wow. Yep. That makes a little more it, sense it now. A lot of people say, well, it's just up in the attic. It's like, yeah, but all that is, it's all part of that structure. All this stuff goes together. So it's just like if your feet hurt, then you, maybe your back hurts or, you know, all that stuff. It's all, it all well, it's not my back, it's my feet. Well, it all kind of transfers through your okay. body. Same thing with right. the house. It all goes, to, it all ties together. You want that attic to be efficient. So energy savings really starts in the attic. Okay, so I get the fan in there. And I guess one of the biggest leaks in my house is my attic access. The access door, it's either a pull-down stairway or like a hatchway. And you fix that. We do. We have got a, an attic stairway. I'm reading this. An attic stairway insulator. Yes. And it looks like a gate. Like a, like a. It's yes. So it goes over the, the. If you have a stairway, it goes over the stairway. So the stairway can actually go up inside of this. Right. Yep. So here is on the picture. So the stairs go up inside it. But to access it, you just go up your stairs and you unzip it. Okay. You go in and out. Go in and out of your attic. If you have a hatchway. You would push the hatchway up and you'd pull the, the board down and then you would unzip it and go up in and out of the attic. But what it does, it, it creates a 12-inch air pocket there. So it gives you a nice R value, but it also radiates the heat. We talked about radiant barrier. Right. This is made with a radiant barrier material. What will actually kick the heat back into the attic or the cold so it makes that, that spot a real, not such a breach. Is that a zipper or a Velcro? It, it's a zip, it's zipper. So we install okay. it and then when you would access it, you would just unzip it to go in and out of your attic. So it really makes a nice... That's, that's cool. Easy to get out. That's where it's halfway open. Well, it's, I can see that being a big thing up it, in it the makes north. It, oh, we it, all over the, the winter times. Oh God. Yes. Yep. Winter, summer. These make a big difference. And the nice thing is, a lot of times your cold air return is really close to this opening. Yes. So you're sucking dust and stuff out of your attic right into that cold right. air return. Exactly. And then you've got your thermostat right there. So sometimes your hallway may be 80 degrees, but the rest of the house may be 72. But the thermostat's kicking on and kicking your air conditioner back on. Yeah, I, I, so. I've never understood why why they put why they put the thermostat there. Why not putting in the living room or the bedroom or somewhere where you actually are? Because that I'm in, I had the house before. My our hall was would always get super hot, so my air conditioner was running all the time. Right. You know, but I'd be freezing in the living room or the kitchen or the bed. I'm like, what is going on? Exactly. Because it was so hot in that in, in, the, in the hallway. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. I don't know why. I mean, a lot of times I can see it. A lot of times they'll have the the stairway goes up, and then maybe an air conditioner sitting right there, and like maybe for just for service. But that's not always the case. Lazy. You know, they don't want to run a cable. 
Yes, the shortest runs. Everything is right. the shortest runs, exactly. Oh, my. Well, okay, let's talk about the special again because we we got we got about two minutes left. Yeah, so let's, go back. Solar let's, let's jump back on the special yeah, real quick. You, know, you go this time. Okay, I'll do it. Yeah, you, yeah. you get all the fun. So um, <sighs> normally they're 1095 Installed, we're doing it for eight ninety five, two hundred dollars off. Right. Um, but the biggest thing is the tax credit. You get thirty percent of that back, so it's two sixty eight fifty back in a tax credit. So this is a federal energy tax credit. It's not a deduction. So when you do your taxes for this coming year, you're going to get that back two sixty eight fifty. So your out of pocket is actually six twenty six fifty total for the fan installed, lifetime warranty. There's no other fees. It, that's that's just the deal. So it's a really a nice fan. And what uh, is the special money. you've got going on the on the um, the attic access? So the the stairway insulator. If you get insulation, we'll do the uh, we'll do a free st stairway insulator. If you want to just buy the stairway insulator, maybe with the fan or something else, they're two ninety nine installed. Okay. But uh, we're pretty easy. You know, come up, call us out. We'll come out. We'll do an attic inspection. That's the first place to start. You're not calling or doing anything. Call, you know, contacting us to buy anything. You're coming to see what you need. Obviously, people that contact us. They usually they need something. That's why they're right. calling us. So let's come out and see what exactly what it is. Maybe it is insulation. Maybe it's the ventilation. Maybe it does need a rainy barrier. Maybe it's just a stairway insulator. It's hard to say. I always say I can't see the, the customer's house from here. So right. let's go look at it and see what we can do for them. Right, right. Okay. Well, that being said, we're going to come back and we're going to delve into. I, I have some questions about the 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 whole. Um, the whole solar credit and whole nine yards because sure. sometimes, you know, I, I get confused on it. It's not hard. Right, I'm, right. I am blonde, see? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we'll be right back after these, uh, well, you know, this little quick message from Weaving TV. This is the Cannabis Podcast powered by Leaf on Radio Influence. It's an inside look and the scientific facts in and around the world of medical cannabis. Now, here is your host, Ian Beckles. He's a successful entrepreneur, published author, top listing agent, a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. back last segment we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna recap this whole thing okay so your insulations versus the other insulations let's, let's start right there the pros and the cons the pros and the cons the goods and the bads the good yeah. the bad the ugly, <laughs> and the ugly. Uh, so there's different types of insulation uh, i like to talk more about what we do more right. than what they're exactly. doing but basically ours is a green guard certified super clean safe for schools daycares hospitals residential commercial it's just super clean. You can put it anywhere. You never get in trouble. That's why See, we that's, use it. That's the to me. That's one of the biggest selling points. It, it is right there. And not, not that we're trying to sell anybody, but we're just saying that to me is that makes it the best thing. That's kind of the key features. Um, you know, you just don't want to have side effect, bad side effects with things. You want this. You want that environment to be clean. You don't want it to be. You know, save energy. You want it to be right. comfortable. So that's what our insulation does. It doesn't settle. And the nice thing is, you do it one time and, you, and you're done with it. You don't have to keep adding stuff to it. A lot of insulation that's going to settle so much that you have to keep every say eight, ten years. You're, you're doing it again. Right. So some people will say, "Well, that's a nickel more a square foot." I'm like, "Yeah, but you do it one time. You don't have to, in ten years. You don't do it again and do it again. It's always cheaper to do it right the first time. Right. By far, it's not even close. Do it right the first time, and you're going to get your maximum savings. So if I go in my attic." And I can see my rafters, right? <laughs> That's how, yes. You need insulation. We need to call you me. definitely need right? insulation. All right, if all you're right. seeing floor joists, 
They're usually two by fours, two by sixes, two by ten at the most, and that's very rare. I mean, usually they're two by fours, two by sixes. Two by sixes, yeah. That's about as thick. So that's going to be a maximum of an R19 if it's a two by six. So we would add eight inches to that, bring it to an R38. That's where okay. you really want to be. So right. that was what we were talking about on our special. Yep. I guess we didn't really go over that. We're actually doing an eight inch add on top of that. So we're assuming you have five, six inches of insulation. Hmm. We'll add eight inches and bring you to an R38, right. and then you're done with that attic. If you go to sell the house, you're always going to meet minimum building code. Right. You haven't put in a, a product where customers say, well, you know what? I have bad allergies. I don't think this is the right house for me. They're like, well, 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 we, we could we could go ahead and pull all that insulation out and have all that done again. So yeah. that's why I said it's always better to do it right the first time. First time. It's cheaper right. to do it that way. The other thing about our insulation, well, actually, most insulation, if you that's a big upsell when you go to sell your house. Oh, yeah. On a national average, you get about 120% of that value back. So if you spend $1,000 on insulation now and you sell your house in five years, a national average, you're going to get about $1,200 back on a resale. That's, because if you go, that's awesome. you know, think about when you go buy a house. Well, you, what did they have? A checkbox. Three bedrooms. How many bedrooms do you want? How many bathrooms? How many car garage? Right. Do you want an efficient house? Yes or no. Nobody checks the no box. They always want efficient. <laughs> So, you know, that's a big selling feature is to make the house efficient. And if it's green, it's even better. Yeah, if it's green product, it's even better because it's super clean and that, that right. really makes so it nice. It's not going to hurt my little Johnny or my little Susie. Well, no. think about it. If you've got a, a two-year-old at home right. and, and, and they're exposed to some bad stuff for 50 years, what's the toll on their life expectancy? Oh, well, I mean, absolutely. it's just not good. You want it to be as clean as possible. Even if it's just a little, even if it was just a little bit better, but it's not just a little bit better. It's a lot better. It's a lot better. But even if it was just a little bit better, it's worth going with this. And it doesn't, it's not more money. It doesn't cost more money to do it right this way. It's just what we use, and we just really feel this is the best way to go. And it, it's all documented. This is a real deal. This is something we're, we're here, you know, trying to yeah. schmooze people or something. Nope. This is a real deal. Real it's stuff. really good stuff. Okay, attic fan. Got to have it. Got to have it. Got to have You got to have airflow. Um, the nice thing about this, it works like the old power fans used to work as far as pulling the air out. But a lot of people got away from those because it cost too much to run. The motors didn't last. Right. This, you've converted those, and now it's solar. It doesn't cost anything to run it. And it's a, it's a DC motor versus an AC motor. So it, it just, it's got a lot of life expectancy. It's a sealed motor, mm -hmm. brushless. And it's got a lot of 90,000 hours is the rating on the motor versus a power fan, like 5,000 hours. So it has about 18 times the life expectancy. It's, it's huge. So, I mean, it could last, it could last 100 years, really. I mean, that motor is just not going anywhere. It's right. all sealed. So nothing to go bad. Nothing to go bad. Um, so they really can move a lot of air. 30% tax credit, lifetime warranty. Uh, it's made by the Attic Depot. Um, just a really good product. They're out of, actually out of Houston. It's a good product. Uh, 1,550 CFM. It's not real big. It's uh, it's about nine inches tall, eighteen by eighteen. Oh, so it's low it, it doesn't really. It's low profile. Doesn't nice. like stand out on your roof. People don't. People are like, oh, it actually, looks kind of nice up there. Right. And uh, it's really nice. It's got adjustable panel if we need to adjust it to catch the maximum sunlight, depending on the roof slope and all right. of that. Uh, humidity sensor, temperature sensor. So smart technology. It's going to come on when it needs to. Stay off when it doesn't. That's right. kind of key. So like a turbine. I always tell people, well, you might get a little summertime energy savings, but it's going to be offset by a winter energy loss Pull them all your because it's pulling the heat out yeah. of your house in the winter. And if you've got electric heat, you, there's Ooh. no way no way on earth you should have a, a turbine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. and if you do have electric heat, really should even have an R49 of insulation. That's what the energy department recommends. Because really? when that electric heat comes on, if you could see your meter spinning, it'll trip you out. You're like running back in the house to turn the heater off. Like two hey, seconds, it's going up. It's a dead short. It's just using so much energy to heat that house. So that's what insulation does is, is when you heat or cool the, the space, right. you want to keep that in there. You don't want that all that to be dissipated again. Right. So the thicker the insulation is, the longer or that cool or heating will stay in the house. Quick story, I'll go, and then, I'll, then story. I'll, I'll shut up. So <sighs> I always tell people, go to the grocery store in the middle of July, get two bags of ice, put one in an insulated cooler, just a two or three inches of insulated cooler, and put one, leave it in a plastic bag. Drive 20 minutes and get home. What do you have? <laughs> you open the cooler, you got a bag of ice. Right. You look over in the bag, no insulation, water. a bag of water. Yep. So all that energy that was designed and made to, to freeze that ice, you just lost it by not insulating it. Right. So you, that's where insulation, insulation is you know, pretty critical. Temperature is huge in the attic. The lower that attic temperature is, you just don't have that heat that's getting into the insulation. And you're not asking the insulation to do as much work. Right. So okay, the radiant the barrier should be done before. If you're going to do a radiant barrier, and we don't always recommend a radiant barrier. Right. I'm not here pushing if you it. Are, no, if it's the right house, the right candidate, and you're going to stay in the house long term, the right roof pitch, and all these different factors, 
radiant barrier can work really nicely. Um, I have it in my house, but it goes on the underside of the roof decking. So if we can access, if you could kind of picture you're in the, in the attic and look up, if we can access the edit, we can spray it on the underside of the roof deck. You see, we don't Got have it. to take shingles and decking and all that off. That's it's all awesome. done from inside of the attic. Okay. So. And then an attic stairway insulator. Attic stairway insulator. That's the cherry on top of the Sunday. Yeah. So what that does is, it, and it can save about 20% of your energy cost. It's huge. Right. But it's just not super expensive. So we'll throw it in with insulation. Um, if you get a couple solar fans, you know. Russ, we might Absolutely. We talk us in. We might give you one of those with a couple solar see, fans as well. There you go. Like I said, we're pretty easy to work with. Whole idea is we'll come out and see what people need, and we'll go from there. But what that's going to do is it's going to seal that conditioned air that's in the house and keep the unconditioned air in the attic from coming into the house. Right. And that's what it does, and, and it radiates the heat away. So it works summer and winter as well. Solar credit. Solar credit. That's on the solar attic fan. So you get 30% of that cost back. So on our fan, eight ninety five, you get two sixty eight fifty back in credit. So what that means is, at the end of the year, anything you did, if you got a fan now and then you got some solar panels put on your house, any anything like that, you get thirty percent of that back for for twenty nineteen. Next year, that that actually is, there's still going to be a credit, but it's not thirty percent. It's actually they're kind of kind of wean people off of. It. I think it's going to twenty six percent. Okay, there's still a credit, but it's not as good right. as it is right now. Now right. is the time. Right. And plus, we're getting ready to get I me mean, with the heat and everything. Oh, now is the time to do it. Sometimes here, Oof. exactly. So do it now, and then uh, you're just going to get a, a lot of energy savings. And then the tax credit is so nice because you get thirty percent of that back, and it's a credit. So it doesn't matter how you're doing your taxes if you're doing like item. Some people say, "Well, do I have to do itemize?" Is it? No, that has nothing to do with it. This is a solar federal energy tax credit. So and it's available for solar. So you get thirty percent of that back on your on your taxes. So if you've paid in taxes all year out of your check or whatever, and they don't owe you any money at the end of the year, but then you file your with your your solar credit, you actually get that thirty percent of that cost back two sixty eight fifty. They're going to send you a check get a back. Refund. Get a refund of your money. Yes, <laughs> exactly. I always say that of your money. Of your money. So that the they borrowed from you to run the country. You're right. Right. Exactly. That's another story. Yeah, that's a whole. <laughs> that's another show. show right there. Let me tell you what. Okay, we got about three minutes left. Let's go over this special one more time for everybody at home so they know. And I want to know, well, first of all, where do you, what, what counties do you cover in Tampa Bay? We, we cover pretty much the, we cover all the way from Lakeland to Sarasota and everything in between. Wow. Uh, we, we go about a 60 mile radius from, uh, we, we'll call the hub of Tampa, maybe Tampa International Airport. And we go about a 60 mile radius from all Tampa, the mm -hmm. all the way around all the surrounding areas. We have, we have, we have a couple crews that we, we send them wherever they need to go. I mean, it's real easy with us. Call 813-951-4374, and all we're going to do is give you some energy savings, a more comfortable home, and it's going to be much more energy efficient. We, we do a great job, and, and we care about the customer. It's not always about the money. It's also about saving the customer money and, and making the customer happy at the same time. All right, let's go over that exactly. special one more time. Okay, uh, I'll do it. So the insulation, normally an 8-inch ad. So we would, do, we would add, add eight inches to your existing. So that's normally going to bring you up to like an R38. If you need more, it's still we'll still give you 50% off, but right. just be a little bit more money. Well, but when you keep talking about the R19, what's the difference between R30 and R38? And, and why are people told that they should upgrade it? And, and who's suggesting this? So the R30 is uh, what the energy, or I mean, the building code is. Right. R30, that's a minimum building code. Right. R38 is what the, actually the energy department recommends. So everything is not always the minimum. So we can do it just to bring you to the minimum, but we really like, you know, to make it efficient, that's what we're trying to do. And for maybe 10 or 15 cents more a foot, we can take you to the R38. If we're already there, let's just do it right the first time. Right. That way, if you go to sell the house in, in five or six years, the building code is going to go up. It's, of course. You know, it's, it's gone up over the years. Yep, it's going to get to an R38. Right. And then you don't have to add any more insulation to sell it. So right. let's just do it right. So I'm always preaching. Let's do it right the first time. First time. So it just depends on the customer. But we would do, add an eight-inch ad for normally $1.80 a square foot. So with our special 50% off, it's only it's 90 cents a square foot. And we'll throw in the 299 stairway insulator for free. That's awesome. So if they get insulation. So it really brings the cost down. If you, if you figure you back that in, I mean, our, our rate is very competitive with anybody. And we service quality. It's not even close. I mean, what we do is first class. Okay. So we do it right the first time. Um, the solar attic fan, we're doing uh, $200 off of that. Normally, $1,095. We're doing it for $895 installed. Right. Um, that includes everything. The caulk, the materials, the labor, 
everything. There's everything. no extra fee for, oh, we got charged for caulk. Or we, right. and a lot of companies, I, I get down their invoice. I can't even follow them. They've got all these little fees. Like, what are these little fees for? <laughs> and then, you know, they come in and they think, well, they'll do that on insulation. Oh, it's uh, 65 cents a square foot. And then they add in for the stairway insulator. We have a product called Attic Fresh that we actually put in the attic and makes it really smell nice. It's, it's a bio treatment kills it's an enzyme it kills all the junk up there we we conclude that we do a lot of extra things that we're not charging for so but we don't want to confuse the customer so we come in 90 cents and we kind of just take care of everything really right. make it simple we don't kind of nickel and dime people this is the cost this is it. it so if you got a thousand square foot of attic space you know it's going to be about 900 we're going to come in and do eight inch ad we're going to do the stairway insulator and that's it end of discussion pretty simple if you got 2,000 feet, you're looking at about $1,800 to kind of give people an right. idea of what, yeah. what it really would cost. It's, you know, it's usually less than a two-year payback. Some yeah. people will say, well, how much does insulation cost? Like, it doesn't cost because it pays back so fast. Right. You can't really look at this as a cost. That's like buying a stock that's going to go up 20% of will be your first payback. It's already paying itself back. Yes. That's so if you bought a stock, you wouldn't say, well, how much does it cost? You would say, well, you might say that, but you're, buying, you're doing that to make money. Same thing with this. Right. This actually makes you money. And makes the house more comfortable, air conditioning lasts longer, all these benefits. Back. Yes. Ross, Tom, thanks for coming by. Thanks for being on the show today. Now, I've given you great information. It's up to you to call. <laughs> and make sure you get a hold of Ross. And Ross and his crew will come out and also start saving you money immediately. Uh, thanks for watching the Focus on Business. We'll see you next week.